Don't you touch that remote. The show is about to start. You should have grabbed your snack like five minutes ago. <sighs> oh well. Grab it anyways. Be quick. And I know you've got your blanket. And I see you've got your tea. Or hot cocoa. I'm not sure what that is. You've got a drink. That's good. Just get comfortable. Sit back, relax. And enjoy the show. Howdy folks! Welcome to Travis J's Space here on YouTube. And welcome back to another episode of Nancy Drew Treasure in the Royal Tower. <laughs> and we're in the tower. <laughs> we're in the Royal Tower. Look at that. Wow. Craziness. Um, <laughs> oh, I spy with my little eye. What do you guys notice that's different? Oh, take a closer look. Oh, someone went brunette. <laughs> I dyed my hair back to my original. This is my natural hair color. Is uh, is brunette. Uh, this this pretty close actually to this color of brunette. So I was really impressed with uh, with the hair dye and stuff. It took me and my mom about like an hour and a half to go through all the hair dye boxes at Shoppers and kind of match it to my roots and see what uh what matched what was the closest match and i wasn't about to spend a hundred and something dollars at a salon so <laughs> so and i'm not a big hair dyer so now that i've dyed it back to my roots i'm not dying it again i'm gonna let it grow out let the roots take over let that blend take place let the grays go silly i don't care i love my grays i'm sad they're covered up i had a lot just before i died dyed my hair <laughs> so yeah brunette and that also means that mini T, my little mini T, is also going to be brunette as well. Yay! Maybe not till February, but uh, in the meantime, though, I am working really hard to make sure mini T has a little more of a uh, presence in the channel for the branding and stuff like that. So you'll see a lot more mini T coming up in February. Lots of big changes for branding in February. So, I'm not dying my hair again, because if I went, say, red, well, then mini T's got to be red, everything's got to be red, 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 red. So, brunette, and that's it. <laughs> as much as I love the blonde, the blonde was fun. I'm actually sad to say goodbye to it, but it is what it is. I'm not a blonde. All right, so let's get back to it. Let's get back on track. We're going to jump back into the mystery here. And, oh, I should forget my notes. I'm not even prepared. Okay. Got my notes. I've got my... my guidelines here <laughs> oh, I'm making a mess this is what happens when you're not prepared are you prepared I hope you're prepared are you getting prepared you better be getting prepared because obviously I'm not prepared here okay now I'm prepared I got everything I need right here I got two pens okay <laughs> all right well now that I'm all set up how are you are you good are you good are you ready to begin um, a quick recap, I guess I should say, uh, we finally made it into the tower, the last episode, episode 7 or 8, the tower, obviously a pretty straightforward title there, um, we made it into the tower, I didn't think we were going to get this far uh, in one episode, so hence why it turned out to be an hour, I knew if we got this far, I couldn't stop here, so... Um, so yeah, so we're starting off in the tower now, and there's a few things we have to do. I think the first thing we're going to do is definitely talk to Professor Hotchkiss. I think that's a must, because this is like Professor Hotchkiss's bread and butter. This is the entire reason to her theory, so I think it's beneficial and probably a really good idea we let her know that we've made huge headway in her own little theory investigation thing, historical investigation she's got going on for her new book. So let's jump right in. You got your tea? 
Good. I don't got mine. It's too hot right now. It's cooling off in the other room. And please bear with me. I, I do have a bit of a pain going on right here in the top of my head. I don't know why. It started with a neck pain down here. And I used one of those compressor. You put a compressor thing around. You pump it up and it extends your neck like this. But it feels really good. You can feel every muscle just getting pulled. So I thought maybe that would help. And the neck pain went away a little bit. But now the pain's kind of gone right up to the top of my head. <laughs> Get out of there, you little shit. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so you got your tea? I don't have mine, it's okay, but you got yours? Good, good. And you got a blanket, you're cozy over there. Excellent. And most of all, you're comfy, right? That's what matters most. You're comfortable? Gucci. Okay. Alright, y'all. Let us jump right into it. Are you ready, Clue Crew? Are you ready? I know I am. Let's go. And let's start the timer as well, because I always forget to do that. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's jump into it, folks. So what time do we have here? We've got... Uh, 4.15? Decent. I don't know if that's 4.15 a.m. or p.m. Do you guys notice how when I go around this room, I don't think it's a full room. Like, it just kind of whips me back over here. Like, the corner right behind us isn't a thing. See? Whatever's beside... Oh, maybe maybe that's just the pole. Okay. I don't know. It just seemed like something's going on there. I don't like going down this tower. This is a long way down. Holy! I wouldn't want to trip. I'd hate to trip. If you trip down those stairs, it's, it's a... A lose-lose situation. Okay, what the heck's going on here? How how did we how did we <laughs> how did we uh, get down here? Nothing in here. Oh, right, 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 right. Here we go. I don't think I'll have to redo any of this again, will I? Like pulling these pulleys and stuff. I think everything's good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Get the heck out of this creepy place. <laughs> oh! Okay! Yay! We're back in a, in a less creepy area. It is not creepy here. I don't like creepy. I don't mind creepy. But I don't like creepy. I don't invite creepy. I mean, I don't invite creepy because there's enough creepy going on. Oh, let's talk to Mr. again. Let's hey see. there, Nancy. Ah, look at the questions now. We got some variety. You've been holding out on me, Mr. again. I read in your old old issue of the Daily Telegraph. You could... Ha ha, see? Now we can call him out on his past that he's been so quiet about. You've been holding out on me, Mr. Egan. I read in an old issue of the Daily Telegraph that you grew up here, right in this castle. All right. I did live here for a few years, once upon a time. A few years. I was an orphan until Ezra Wickford came along and adopted me. But I left the castle when I was 16, and I never saw him again. That's the story, all right? Aww. Uh, wow, so he never, he truly never had a chance to, to learn his lessons and reflect on that and make apologies to his father for all the resentments he's had. Wow. And he's been holding all that in since he was 16. Not to mention he spent 25 years in prison, so all those years of resentment and wanting to make amends and do differently. I mean, no wonder this man's got a hard exterior. It makes sense. I don't think he's sus. I don't think he's sus. I think he's just been hurt. He's got a hard heart. Everyone's got their stuff, right? Poor guy. But why did you leave? Some things can't be explained, kid. Mm. It was a long time ago, and nothing can change it now. Oh. <laughs> Very sad. Uh, why are those holes in the crest on the floor in the tower room? I'm trying to get into the tower. Well, we've gotten the tower, but let's ask this anyways. I'm trying <laughs> to get into the tower, but I can't get across that big pit. I can help you, but we shouldn't talk about it now. Not here. Call me later. Okay. Call you later. Interesting. Okay. Why are those holes in the crest on the floor of the tower room? I can help you. But we shouldn't talk about it now. Not here. Call me later. 
Okay. Interesting. So he's letting us in, but he keep, doesn't want to talk about it here. He doesn't trust anyone in this castle, I guess. I mean, neither do we, really, to be honest. Who can you trust in this freaking castle? Why are those holes in the crest on the floor of the tower room? I can help you, oh. but we shouldn't talk about it now. Okay. Not here. Okay. Call me later. Okay. You. See ya, Mr. Egan. I'll call Bye. You. I'll call you, Mr. Egan. We'll talk. I didn't know I could talk. I didn't know I could uh, call him. I didn't know we had his number, but I guess apparently we do. So, we should give him a call later, like he said, when he's not working. Okay, Anne of Cleves, I'm going in my room. Because, um, I have been told, oops, what am I doing? <laughs> I've been told I had a, um, a wonderful, uh, tidbit of information that was brought to my attention by red wolf i see you girl love it she told me that um i have a voicemail i didn't know how this worked okay i i remember we've been screwing around with the voicemail for a while um i've just been kind of clicking it here and there to see if there's anything going on if it was just there for haha's you know um but nancy drew games her, her interactive, they don't throw things in just for fun. There's always a connection or a tie in unless it's an Easter egg. Uh, but Red Wolf has directed me to this because in the last episode, she said that the light was on. And I haven't really noticed this light. I guess I should have because it's right next to the voicemail button. But, but uh, she let me know that that indicates there is a voicemail. So we have a voicemail. Thank you, Red Wolf. Clue Crew. Yeah. That's Clue Crew magic right there. <laughs> Oh, shoot, I backed out. <laughs> Welcome to the voicemail system. Please press zero to retrieve messages. To leave the system, please press three. Aw, her voice is so cute. Please press three. <laughs> First message. Yeah, Miss Drew, this oh. is Dexter at the front desk. Can you come down when you're feeling better? I need to talk to you for a minute. Thanks. To go to the next message, oh. press two. Second message. Nancy, this is your mentor speaking. Oh. Things are looking uncommonly out of sorts in here. I just hope I haven't had another intruder. Please remember that passkey I gave you is not for sharing. To go to the next message, press two. Good to leave the third message. Hi, Nance. It's Lisa. Whoa. Sorry if whoa. I acted like a brat before. This article's got me a little stressed. Anyway, we have to be friends so we can gossip about all the suspicious activity around here, right? Wait till you hear what I just saw. Come talk. Bye. To leave the system, please press 3. Interesting. Thank you. Goodbye. Aww. <laughs> I want a voicemail system like that. Oh, so simple and cute. I love that. I love that. I want I want that voicemail system so bad. Uh sorry, I'm distracted. Wow, so that was a lot of voicemails. I didn't realize we had that many voicemails. Thank you, Red Wolf. <laughs> wow. I've been sleeping on the voicemail system. Okay. Uh Mr. Egan wants to talk to us. That sounds rather important. But I think it might have something to do with the tower and stuff like that. That could be an older message, I'm not sure. But we'll go chat with him to make sure. Uh secondly sounds like something's been going on with uh professor hotchkiss's room maybe there was another robbery i don't think there was though because we didn't take anything from her room and we didn't we certainly didn't bar let anyone borrow her pass key either so i don't understand that however jacques medallion was hidden under her pillow so if she did steal jacques medallion and she's the one who knocked us out and stole it from us then she, only she would know it was hidden in her room and if we took it out of her room and she's not directly saying what's gone amok in the situation it could it, it makes her look a little suspicious doesn't it? it makes it look like maybe she's trying to call her bluff or act aloof about a missing something that she shouldn't even know was there if she's in the right interesting we'll we'll we'll, re we'll reconnect with that I, I think we need to it's very important we talk to professor hushkiss so we'll have to have a nap in a moment but Lastly, the third message from Helen Karp. Tanya Lee Gooding, whatever you want to call her. Alina Boyd, Lisa Ostrom, whatever. She left us a voicemail saying that she's 
and she's sorry for being kind of bratty and her her article is stressing her out and she doesn't mean to be that way and we should gossip be friends because there's so much stuff going on so maybe i'll give her the benefit of the doubt maybe i can let it go and we could try to be friends i i don't know i don't know how i feel about that message but it's nice to hear her trying to apologize i think that's sweet so let's go chat apparently we are wanted in every social circle <laughs> in this quiet little castle all right hey there nancy oh okay okay so that's See ya, mr egan been clear Alrighty then so that message from mr egan probably an old message okay clear so now lisa oh who's not there what time is it ah okay she's probably already gone up to bed so then in that case let's just jump right to uh or no, Lisa was the third call on the phone, right? Yeah. So let's just talk to, uh, let's just have a nap. And, and we'll talk to Professor Hotchkiss when we wake up. And figure out what the heck's going on in her room. Because that was kind of suspicious, wasn't it? 3 a.m. Ah, oh, did it again. Oh, this is another thing. Okay, I wonder, okay. Recap. Back to Red Wolf. <laughs> my favorite little sleuth um she said as well another tidbit of information uh side note uh she let me know that i didn't know i didn't know about this either before but apparently with the um uh breaker system in the basement when the lights are out uh, and you're supposed to repair well the, the elevator the light in the hallway or the staircase i mean there's, there's so many problems with this place but when you go and fix the lights apparently red wolf was saying to me that if you turn one of the breakers off that you're not supposed to nancy's alarm clock doesn't work so i'm wondering because did you notice how if you back it up rewind it a little bit you notice how when i said oops actually backed out of the alarm clock i've done this a few times i don't think it's me I don't think it's me. I'm starting to think maybe it's this glitch that Red Wolf has brought to our attention. Because watch. Wait. Oh, well now it's working. <laughs> but it's always the first time I come up to the alarm. I find... Okay, maybe maybe it's just me. Okay. <laughs> maybe it's a lot worse. I'm thinking maybe... I'm trying to imagine like um, when Red Wolf told me that uh it would this would work in my mind i'm picturing that it'd just be totally off so I, I don't think my glitch has to do with the same easter egg slash glitch but thank you for that information red wolf i really i really appreciate you i do i love you <laughs> oh i can't get over that okay i'm so glad we phased out uh that sound from universal alarm systems everywhere Probably around what? 2006? 8? 10? When digital was becoming cool. Oh, hello! Yes, dear? Ah, la la la. I found something that I think you might be very interested in. It seems to be some kind of journal. Oh, yes, here we go, here we go, here we go. I found something that I think you'll be very interested in. It seems to be some kind of journal. I think it was written by Marie Antoinette herself. What? Let me see that. <gasps> this is oh. it. I've been trying to track this down for 15 years. Where on earth did you find it? Do we tell her the truth? Is that an option? Evidence could help prove theory, but you see, I need to know what it says, too. Well, it's a long story, but I happened to find a way into the Queen's Tower where I happened to find a secret compartment. I think this must be what the Vandal was after. Let's just tell her about the tower. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's very risky. Because we haven't really let anyone in on our stuff yet. A little bit with Miss Professor Hotchkiss. But Lisa? No. No. Mr. Egan? Yeah. Okay. We'll let her in. Well, it's a long story. But I happened to find a way into the Queen's Tower where I happened to find a secret compartment. I think this must be what the Vandal was after. Nancy, I must warn you. I'll wrestle you for this if I have to, and it won't be pretty. <laughs> I don't think we have to go that far. I think we can part with it. Uno momento. I gotta pee. <laughs> Again, I know, I'm sorry. 
Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's better. That's much better. Oh gosh. Also, side note, don't mind my hair. <laughs> I know I just dyed it and everything, but it's very, very greasy. It's like day three or four, but I want to make it last until like day five or six, because I need all that natural grease and oil to get back into every fiber of my hair you know what I mean I'm one of those people and I got thick hair too so it can't be dry I need lots and lots of moisture up there and uh, yeah so I'm happy it's getting a little greasy it's finally getting a little greasy this is like the first day it feels a little greasy so I'm happy about that but uh, it might look even greasier in the next episode who knows <laughs> all right so yes physical combat is not necessary which is right in this response so I think I think I might click that one. I'm on a mission of my own, Professor, so we're gonna have to deal. Yes. Oh, hey, I like that. I'm on a mission of my own, Professor, so we're going to have to make a deal. I place the journal in your hands, you translate it for me. Does that sound fair? Absolutely, I'll get to work on it right away. I'll have the translation ready in my room for you this time tomorrow. Until then, I mustn't be disturbed. Uh, oh, oh, she just... Oh, on and jumped on up out of the room. She just got right up. Not a minute to spare. <laughs> All right, cool. She's going to translate Marie Antoinette's journal for us, which I kind of forgot we had. I forgot we found that in the tower. This is probably the, one of the most annoying navigations. Okay, still nothing over here. Oh, well. But yeah, I forgot we found that. <laughs> we found Marie Antoinette's journal. How cool is that? Uh, yes, okay. I'm looking for the stairwell. <laughs> I'm not very good at navigating myself around uh, this place. It's probably the my least uh, favorite layout <laughs> for, for direction, for getting around. Uh, Nancy Drew games, I mean. I think this one's the, probably one of the more challenging uh, <clears throat> navigations. <laughs> okay. Oh, is this something? Okay, okay. Um, so now that we've got, now that we've got, uh, Mr. Egan's been caught up with everything, it seems like. Uh, we haven't talked to Lacey yet. Um, but we did talk to Professor Hotchkiss, so now, Hotchkiss is going to translate the journal for us, and I guess so. Either we'll, we'll have to just wait till tomorrow night. Um, but in the meantime, though, actually, let's go down here really quick. Cause we haven't been down here in a while, and it's 6 a.m. Well, I guess we've already looked through all this stuff too. Okay, there's not really much new things at night, by the looks of it. And there's still sun coming through the windows at 3 a.m. Very unusual. <laughs> Jeez, this Wisconsin weather, I tell ya. Things are different in Wisconsin. <laughs> All right. Let's take a load off here. Again. <laughs> Another sleep for Nancy. All right, 10 a.m. sounds peachy. Now the thing is, uh, I'm not even sure we will be able to talk to Helen because uh, she hasn't been sitting there in the mornings. Have you guys noticed that? Every time we pass through this the den, I find she's not there. I find she's yeah. 
Oh, well, there she is. Here we go. Time to talk to Helen Carp. Either I'm going to be really annoyed with this chick, or she'll have something nice to say. Who knows? Glad you came down to talk. Get this. Okay. I saw Dexter walking out to the maintenance shack with this, like, green ornament thing in his hand. He's up to something, right? Maybe you should check it out. <sighs> You're a sneaky little twig, aren't you? A sneaky little twig. Oh, you're trying to play games with us, aren't you? You are trying to play games. Right? You're getting that vibe from her? I don't like this. Round three. Okay. It's on. It's on, girl. Because we like Dexter. We know Mr. Egan is not up to anything. Mr. Egan is trusting us. Yeah, that's sus. Mr. Egan is trusting us, right? We helped him a bit. He he dropped his hard exterior. He started calling us kiddo. We got the in, you know, we got the in. And there was that mutual respect, right? And friendship formulating. Same with Professor Hodgkiss, right? Professor Hodgkiss said, okay, you've helped me out a little. Here's the key card to my room. You help me, I help you. Scratch my back, scratch yours, okay? Nothing with this chick. Nothing, okay? She... Hasn't given us any opportunity to help her out so that she could trust us. She just seems very, like, I want to trust anyone. Like a lost puppy dog looking for a leader. <clears throat> but on top of all that, it's more like the opposite that she wants to know so bad what we're doing. And she wants to know so bad what our business is. And she hasn't given us anything to trust her with. Anything to reciprocate. You know what I'm saying? This is all starting to add up and it is not looking good for you, Miss Helen Carp. Tanya Lee Gooding, Alina Boyd, Lisa Ostrom, whoever the hell you are. Oh, creepy. Okay. Now that I've got that off my chest, let's see what options we have. If you're so interested, why don't you go check it out yourself? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Ooh, okay. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Let's look at these options. This is good. This is really good. Miss Sus, so we can either A, say, you know what, screw you. If that's what you want to look after, go do it yourself. And then there's, oh, thanks for the tip, Lisa. I think I will. Want to come along? But I feel like she would say no. I don't know what to choose here, guys. This is the first time with a narrative option that I'm a little bit stumped. I feel like both answers are going to lead us to, but see, this one tells her that we're accepting what she has to say. So she's probably thinking, Phew. if she is sus, if she is the, the culprit, she's probably thinking, Phew, I'm on her side now. But if we say, well, why don't you check it out? Then that keeps us independent. I'm sorry. I, I still, I'm still not sold on, on your innocence. I still think you're sus. You're very sussy. Everyone here is very sussy, but she is sussy queen. If you're so interested, why don't you go check it out yourself? I'd love to, but I really should get to work on my article. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Did you know Professor Hodgkiss published a book on Marie Antoinette? Yeah, I looked her up on the internet. The critics panned the book. Looks like other historians think she's a real quack. Well... That's rude. <laughs> I'll let you get back to your magazine. Stay warm. All right. Well, that wasn't so bad. Um, I thought that'd go a lot worse. But why? I'm sorry. Why is Lisa telling us Helen, whatever, Alina? I like calling her Helen, though. Why is Helen telling us about uh, Mr. Egan? running away with now the green ornament thing she made it sound like she didn't know what it was i feel like that was too played on like she knows exactly what it is but she's she's minimizing it you know she's making it seem less i don't know what that is this green thing when really she's like i know exactly what that is and it wasn't him it was me i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know maybe it was mr egan maybe she truly saw mr egan with the medallion and she got scared and panicked because she doesn't seem like a strong girl. She doesn't seem very, you know, 
headstrong. <laughs> it just feels like she doesn't know how to be on her own. She's not very independent, you know, but she does seem very young too. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I'm not here to be her parent <laughs> or her guidance counselor or her leader or her counselor or whatever. <laughs> Let's talk to Jacques. Look, keep the stupid medallion. It's okay. yours. Yeah, he's still upset with us. Okay. Rightfully so, though. Ah, outside. Okay, here we go. So, let's go to the shed and get this stupid green medallion that you... Wait a minute. I just got a gut feeling. I just got, like, a... A tummy, you know, a gut feeling instincts, like a bad, I got chills down my spine. And then I'm seeing this warning, do not enter sign. I mean, we've already been in here. It's not dangerous, but I feel like this time around, something's not right. Oh, I scared the shit out of <laughs> Maybe I'm right then. Maybe my instincts are right, because that door just shut in my face. <sighs> okay, here we go. We're going in. Okay. Okay, so far so good. Yeah. Yeah, nothing's going on up in here. By the looks of it, everything's good. No one is coming to attack us, right? Great, great. I Gosh, hope- I can hardly feel my toes. What? Oh, a rat! <laughs> Uh-oh. What's he doing back there? Oh, the medallion! He was... Oh! Yay! Oh, uh, we got the next medallion, y'all. Okay, so now we have all three medallions. That must mean we're, uh, we're... We're catching on. We're getting to the end of this. Okay, so there's nothing else in here, though. I love this music. Success music. We did it. <laughs> Talk about cringe. Oh, hey, this is cool. I didn't see this before. We can look through the thingy. Ooh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, we gotta get the hell out of here. Nancy's getting cold. I'm getting cold. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. I thought we were gonna get trapped or something, or something was gonna happen. But, uh... Oh, wait a minute! Spoke too soon! Hello! Oh no! Oh. If I don't get inside soon, I'll freeze to death! Oh, Nancy, that's not gonna happen. Not on our watch. Okay, so we are trapped. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Hold up. Remember, I screwed with this last time? And it made the thingy move? If I can get this to move again, I don't know how it works. I'm just gonna keep screwing with it. Oh, I did it! Yeah, yeah! Come on out, Mr. Egan. What the... What's going on out here? Is that you, Nancy? <sighs> Come inside. It's freezing out here. You're what kind of a me. stunt was that, Missy? Someone locked me out! Sorry about that, but I was locked out. I was freezing. That stunt was my version of an SOS. I was freezing. That stunt was my version of an SOS. Well then... What can I say, except good thinking? Uh, I love Mr. Egan. He's becoming one of my favorite Nancy Drew characters. I know that's so unusual, that's so, like, unheard of, uncommon, whatever, but I think, I think he's a real, true, honest guy. He's just, like, a level-headed guy. And just, I, I don't know, I'm also thinking of his trauma, too. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, well, look at that, look at... Wait. Oh, never mind. I thought there was three seconds left on the timer. I'm like, I caught it. I actually caught it. Nah, we got more time to nap. Nancy, folks. I heard you got locked out. You could have frozen to death. So, what was Dexter hiding out there? Bitch. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, excuse me. I had to sneeze. Oh, let's see what our options are. I don't know. It just looked like your average maintenance shed to me. So uh, next time you give me a hot tip, Lisa, I better come with earmuffs. Good thing I'm not the type to let 
To let Frostbite interfere with my love of trespassing, huh? Too bad I didn't find anything. Ha! Let's throw her off the scent. I don't know, it just looked like your average maintenance shed to me, so, uh... Oh, actually, the first one is probably... I don't know, good thing... No, we don't want to let her know that we love trespassing. We don't want to give her... Right, right, right. I don't know. It just looked like your average maintenance shed to me. So, um, next time you give me a hot tip, Lisa, it better come with some earmuffs. Huh, I thought for sure I was on to something. I still think Dexter's shady. I'd keep an eye on him if I were you. Don't tell me what to do. I'll Bye. let you get back to your magazine. Keep me posted. No. I will not. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm a little cranky today. <laughs> Just a little cranky. I haven't had uh, a good sleep. I didn't get a good sleep last night. And actually, I should probably go grab my tea because it's probably cooled down now. But yeah, uh, I am not a fan of Lisa. Helen, Alina, Tanya Lee, Gooding, whatever the hell. Whoever you want to call her, whatever you want to call her. However, it doesn't matter what I think about her because we've got the last medallion. So now we can slap this puppy up on the up on the hole and see if it... What it'll... Oh, that's another thing, too. Um, never mind. No, we already discussed that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Diamant de ma misérie dans mon journal. Le diamant de ma, de ma misérie dans mon journal. The diamond something is in the journal. The diamond's location. No. The diamond something in the journal. Does that make sense? Do I have this written down? Oh, I didn't, um, I didn't translate the other, I didn't get a chance to, uh, to translate, I think this one. No, I don't think I've seen blue, actually. No, I have, because I wrote down in my notes, I have the symbols. But I have a different uh, quote here. Oh, this must be the, the red quote. I'm not keeping my notes organized, am I? <laughs> okay, so then let's just triple check here. Go over our notes, triple check. So that's the red one. Okay, so I'll put red next to that quote, and I'll put the symbols, which is star. I don't like those stars <laughs> with all the freaking points. Okay, and we have a, it looks like a C, a cursive C. Is that what that is? It looks like. Whatever, I'm just going to put a C. Okay, so that's for red. Now for green. Look at all these medallions. I love that we've got all three medallions in our satchel. Makes me so happy. All right. Uh, where am I going to put this? I'm running out of space here. Le diamant, diamant de ma misery. Misery? That wouldn't make sense, would it? Dans moi. Journal. All right, and that has the symbol blah blah blah. This little guy with a couple thingies and a snowflake. Oh, snowflake, snowflake. Okay, and then uh, this is green. So, green, we're gonna put green beside it. Okay, so what's the last one? Blue. Blue I didn't write down at all, I guess. I guess I must have just said, forget blue. We don't care about blue. <laughs> Rude. Vous trouverez, trouverez la solution dedans. They look for the truth inside. Look for the truth inside? I'm going to write that one down too. I feel like we're going to need... All of the, this, these are all going to be very crucial, I think. I don't know. True verres. La solution. Solution. 
dedans. All right, and that has a moon. I'm just going to put an arrow to those symbols that I already wrote down. And so which order? Because blue is last. Blue is the third medallion with um, the ending of the ribbon. And then the first would be what? Uh, sorry, I'm just organized. If you guys want to organize with me at the same time and get your notes all organized here, perfect time. Because this is a lot of stuff that's got pieces. You know what I mean? It's a little too much. So green is the second So we got three. So that would mean that blue, or sorry, red is one. So the red one goes first. L'espoir. Cui cherchant. Oh, we can ask, right? We can ask uh, Professor Hotchkiss what this all means. Okay. So then we're just, I don't have to translate anything. But I did write it all down because those symbols are probably going to come important as well. So what do we do now, folks? I'm thinking maybe... Okay, here's my plan. Here's my plan. We have one minute left. Oh well. No, actually, it's probably smart. I, I, I'm executing, I'm brewing a plan up here right now. And I'm thinking in the next episode, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get up late at night. We're gonna talk to Professor Hotchkiss. We're gonna get all of the translations for the stained glass. I'm gonna write them all down. We'll have the full all three parts together in the right order. I'll put, we'll have the symbols all in the right order. And I'm thinking if we go back up to the tower and use those symbols in the right order into the puzzle, I think there was, a, I'm pretty sure there was a puzzle up in the tower where we could actually place the medallion. So if we can match the medallions with, I don't know if there was any uh, writing up there, but if we can match it or correlate it with something that has to do with either the, uh, the quotes associated or the symbols associated, I think we might unlock something. We might find this uh, diamond tiara or whatever uh, is hiding. Perfect timing. <laughs> so, oops. So yeah, actually, I don't know why I came in here. This isn't where we, this isn't where we end our games, Travis. This isn't our safe room. No, it's not. It should be our safe room though, because it's, our bedroom <laughs> but you know I think we had a pretty good idea in the get-go well I mean in the get-go right the first few games we couldn't even use the hotel room because that dang radiator I don't even know how Nancy slept to be honest how is it so late already oh oh he's off till two that okay that makes sense I'm like shock where are you that's sus he's on his break all right, we're back here, folks. You know what that means. <laughs> We've come to the end of our time here together in this episode. Um, gosh, I, I don't know what to say. I We have all three medallions. That's exciting. That's huge. Because with all three medallions, we can get that final puzzle done. And like I said, we're going to go up in the tower in the next episode again. Now with all the information we need, all the symbols, all the quotes, everything we need, we will see if there we can utilize our own uh, resources to figure out the puzzle. If not, before we go in the tower anyways, just as a precaution, I'm going to talk to uh, Professor Hotchkiss and check up with her and see if she has any new information for us because she is translating Marie Antoinette's uh, journal as well. I don't know if you guys remember that. So we have to go back to her anyways and get the translation for all of that. And in the meantime, I'd like to get some more translations from her about these medallions and their inscriptions. But... Um, maybe that'll give us some answers actually, but in the meantime, well, there really is no meantime. <laughs> we just got to go do that like right now. <laughs> so that's, that's the next order of business. I think that will give us some answers and maybe unlock this hidden treasure. I don't want to say it. I really don't, but I think I'm going to say it guys. I think we're almost done again. It feels so soon, but I think we're already getting to the bottom of this. I think we're going to find out where culprit is very soon. Because if we find that treasure, we're going to find another little sussy pants close by that's probably going to try to knock us over the head again. Give us a good clonking. I didn't appreciate that at all, whoever that was. <laughs> but anyways, folks, I have to pee once again really bad in the same episode. Wow, my bladder, it doesn't work. 
and I drink about two liters of green tea a day and two gallons of water that's sitting right down below me. So are you surprised? No. <laughs> okay, so before I pee my pants, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I truly appreciate and um, I'm very grateful for you for for these let's plays um it's my full pleasure to do this with you guys and to play with you guys and to kind of uh create this space for us to connect you know strangers friends family whoever it is it's nice that we're able to find a uh, a mutual um joy and passion and, and and to connect through that i think that's a really beautiful thing i always have and i always will and i think it's even more beautiful to be able to share that experience with you guys i mean that's that's that was kind of redundant. That's the whole idea. <laughs> but um, I'm very, very, very grateful and appreciative for this, for all of this. It's it's my passion. I love you guys. Lots and lots and lots. And thank you guys so much for all your information. You Clue Crew. Clue Crew, y'all are awesome. Y'all are the best. I freaking love you. I freaking love all y'all. Okay? Red Wolf, Abigail, you two in particular have been so much help to me. In this series and message in a haunted mansion you guys have been clue crew og since day one my clue crew og girls yeah mm. uh-huh uh-huh i have to make us some t-shirts i think what do you guys think about that Ooh, or sweaters Ooh, do you guys what do you guys prefer do you want like a zip up hoodie with clue crew maybe like a pullover uh comfy big you know comfy sweater that says clue crew travi j space or uh what's another option Oh, sorry, I have, to, I have to pee so bad. A mesh shirt. Ooh, I love a good polo mesh shirt. And it says Clue Crew and Travis Jason. Oh. Okay, guys, comments below. Tell me what you want to wear because I'm going to get some Clue Crew merch going. I, we need some, we need to, we need to represent. Because you two, Abby and Red Wolf, you two are like my ride or dies, man. You hold it down. You hold down the fort. So many things that I missed or I kind of glossed over that you guys are, are redirecting to me. And I appreciate you guys so much for that. You guys are amazing. You guys bring me so much joy, so much clarity <laughs> and direction and focus. And I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you. All right, guys. I got to go. And I really need to invest in some Depends. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. All right. I will see you guys next time. All right. Stay cozy. Love you. Toodles. Ta-ta. Ciao for now. Bye, guys. Howdy, folks. Did you like that video? Well, then why don't you go ahead and give that thumbs up a smackaroo. Don't want to miss out on the next episode? Give the subscribe button some love and make sure to turn your notifications on. That way I can give you a bell a ring let you know when it is served. Still need more to chew on? Take a bite of my new YouTube Instagram account at Travi J Space to keep up to date with the channel's inner workings and news of upcoming projects and episodes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.